What would it be like to mine 1 ETH per day, or about $2,000 at the current price? That would mean $14,000 per week, $56,000 per month, and $672,000 per year. That's a whole lot of money. But before you start daydreaming about Lambos and expensive houses, let's see what it takes to reach this income, what are the costs, and how long would it take for the investment to pay for itself. Stick with us until the end to find out the answer to all of these questions. Mining makes sure the network runs well and safe, and takes care of complex functions that help confirm transactions. Those who use their computation power, therefore using electrical energy, receive rewards at a given period of time. In short, as long as you directly contribute to keeping the network active, you have the chance of receiving rewards. In theory, anybody with a computer and internet connection could help the mining process, but in order to also be profitable, you need more than this. Think about this, when crypto was in its early stages, you could mine about 150 ether in 10 minutes using only the power of your computer. But those days are gone with the wind. Since adoption has grown so much and the networks are full, the mining process has become more and more difficult. This is why the process went from being possible in the dorm room of a college student to possible only in industrial halls full of mining units. If you are a true gamer, then you know what a GPU is. It is used in video games, machine learning, video editing, and now also in crypto mining. Once it gets started, the GPU will guess a number used only once, called the nonce, via a trial and error process, in order to validate transactions. This way, if the unique number is identified, you will receive the reward. An alternative is the ASIC unit, or Application Specific Integrated Circuit. ASIC units were created especially for crypto mining, being an efficient method when related to the electrical energy that is consumed and can help you economize when it comes to the needed expenses. Sounds simple, right? Well, it really is. But you must take into consideration that one single unit won't be enough to bring you profit. The costs involve your electrical bill, setting up, and cooling the place. The air can become really hot if you use several mining rigs, not to mention the price for the needed hardware, which is quite high. Let's see how much would it cost to mine 1 ETH per day. We'll take as an example an RTX 3090 video card with a mining power of 114 mH per second and an ASIC miner in Osilicon A10 Pro of 720 mH per second. The values are rated in hashes, since mining is basically a guessing game that requires speed. Every unit tries to guess between hundreds and millions of variants per second. The higher the mH per second, the faster will the unit find the correct answer for the algorithm and validate the transaction. In order to mine 1 ETH per day, you'll need a mining power of around 78,000 mH per second, which means 104 ASICs, or $1,728,000, or 650 RTX 3090 video cards, or $1,300,000, plus other expenses for the motherboard and PSUs. Using video cards increases the energy consumption, which adds to the total. Taking into account the average between those two values, you'll need to invest around $1.5 million in order to produce 1 ETH per day. With the current price of ETH of about $2,000, you'll need about two years to recoup your investment. Furthermore, the market is volatile, which means that even if these costs are calculated exactly, your wins will always be in Ether, so your income will depend on the market, if it is bearish or bullish. Basically, if you want to make a profit through mining, you need to put up a serious amount of money. It can pay off eventually, especially in areas where electrical energy is cheaper and if you have the chance of purchasing the needed equipment cheaper. If you are interested in this topic and you want to invest in a mining farm, make sure you do your research before, talk with others who have similar businesses and do some math to see where you'll start making a profit. It's absolutely necessary for you to know what you're getting involved in before you start investing. We hope you liked today's video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Till next time, safe investment.